Samuel! Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? I'm not gonna stay a moment longer than I have to, Walter. Trust me. Oh, I trust you. Don't rush off on my account. It's nice having you. It just hasn't been a very good visit. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must abscond. Sunday lunch with mother is sacred. Call on me anytime, young Samuel. Anytime. Seems Walter's got a lot on his mind. I know the feeling. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <laughs> got some bite. Well now, seems you want a beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. Happened who? Is that how I got blood on me? 
did I? Focus, you can think through any problem. his office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. I have a complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. 
I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone, whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. Puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Joan used to keep this with her at all times, always observing and sketching and... Hmm, what are those numbers? Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this, for old time's sake. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. code I could get in here. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. possible Walter missed something. 
could be worth checking his office. <laughs> Walter always treated us like family. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. He always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. 
He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. He is dead. Dennis is dead. Don't panic. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Person? Sam, you were clearly hiding something when we talked at the cafe. Was it this? Anna... I didn't kill Dennis, I promise. Of course, I know that. It's the only reason I'm not running for my life, but... Why haven't you said anything? At least to me. I wish you trusted me. This... It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You already decided not to trust Anna about the shirt back at Christina's. If you don't listen to her now, what will she think of you? Okay, but not that phone. Use one of the landlines here, and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Okay. You didn't trust me with all this at the cafe, but I am trusting you. Let me call the police from a landline real quick before we go. like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. Skid marks, no trace of sudden breaking. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. 
These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong.
I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. <laughs>